Holmes and Watson is a 2018 comedy movie. It stars Will Ferrell and John C. Riley as Sherlock Holmes and John Watson. So you're basically taking Anchorman or Step Brothers, but you're mixing that with Sherlock Holmes and you get this movie. Now this movie is critically panned. Most people hate this movie. The scores are a dreadful for it. The IMDb is a 3.4. The Rotten Tomatoes is 8%. <laughs> the Meta score is 24. And the Cinema score is a D plus. So most of the people that come out of this movie freaking hate it. <laughs> uh, this movie is directed by this guy, Ethan Cohen. He's not a Cohen brother. This is a different guy. He directed the movie Get Hard, and he wrote the movies Tropic Thunder, Men in Black 3, as well as he co-wrote Idiocracy with Mike Judge. I love Idiocracy, one of my favorite movies, although I credit that more to Mike Judge, probably. So on to the cast. Once again, like I said, we have Will Ferrell as Sherlock Holmes, and he's basically like a very overconfident Sherlock Holmes, very cocky. And uh, we have John C. Riley as Watson. We also have uh, lots of an ensemble cast in this. We got Ralph Fiennes as this like evil guy. We have Rebecca Hall, uh, Rob Brydon, Kelly McDonald, Steve Coogan as like this other detective. We have Hugh Laurie making a cameo like you know he was a guy that played house back in the day we have braun Strowman, who's like a wwe wrestler just this huge guy he's playing like a wrestler in this movie just as a small cameo we got billy zane making a ridiculous cameo near the end of this film now uh going on to the positives i just gotta talk about some of the jokes that that like worked for me there's a lot that doesn't work here don't get me wrong so like some of the jokes i liked uh, at one point, they're in like this gym, and there's a soul cycling class, but they're on those old timey bicycles with the ginormous front wheel. So, just like a quick sight gag, I thought that was funny. There's this part where Sherlock Holmes is trying not to cry, so a tear is rolling down his face, and then to like halt his emotions he sucks the tear back up so you see the tear slowly make its way back towards his eye socket <laughs> i mean that's funny um there's this part where this is just so stupid um a killer mosquito was sent to sherlock holmes and watson and uh they're both trying to like kill this mo mosquito that's in sherlock holmes's like apartment and the mosquito lands on this like glass a tank and inside the glass tank is a whole bunch of killer bees why are there killer bees inside your apartment <laughs> so of course they kill the mosquito and then the killer bees start coming out now i can see why this would piss people off because it is so stupid but uh i i laughed i laughed i was like this is ridiculous why is there killer bees in this apartment I thought that was funny. Uh, and his mind is brilliant. Angle of approach. Compensate for warping floor. Termination of mosquito. Well done, Holmes. Oh my god! What's in that shot head again? Uh, there's this one part where they accidentally kill the Queen of England, or at least they thought they did. So they decide that the best course of action is to take a bone saw and uh, cut her into small pieces and flush her down the toilet. That's the brilliant solution to their problems. Now, on to some of the negatives, some of the jokes that didn't work for me. Uh, there's this one part where he's wearing a Make England Great Again hat and they're sort of making like, you know, jokes about Trump, but you know, it's set in the 1800s, so it doesn't really make sense. Uh, there's one part where he is blindfolded and he kisses a horse's ass when he's like a kid, and I just saw this joke coming a mile away. There's this vomiting, gagging joke with Sherlock Holmes where Will Ferrell is like trying to hold back some vomit and it just goes on forever and just wasn't funny. There's this girl character who thinks she's a cat 
because she is like mentally deranged. So the whole movie, she's just like acting like a cat. It was just so, it was one of those so stupid parts I just did not like at all. There's this other part where Sherlock Holmes is eating an onion because he's read that for his health, an onion is really healthy. So it's funny watching him eat this onion, but then they go back to this joke many times throughout the movie and it really started to bother me as it went on. There's this uh, part where the Titanic is like a major plot point. Like they're on the Titanic and it's very involved in the story, but this movie set in 1881 and the Titanic didn't exist for another 20 or 30 years. So it's just kind of ridiculous with the historic timeline of things. There is just lots of really stupid, dumb parts in this movie. So I understand why people do hate it, but I mean, this is Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. This is the Step Brothers uh, people, the people that brought you Step Brothers, right? What are you expecting? This is going to be a dumb movie. I think this movie was okay. Like, it's not a good movie, but it's basically Step Brothers but not as good, and it's mixed with Sherlock Holmes, and that's basically what you're getting. I would give this film a 6 out of 10. It's not good, but uh, it's, it's okay. There are decent aspects in here, and I had an okay time, actually.